These days, your calendar is supercharged and you find yourself having to pencil in when you need to breathe. As we're always moving and grooving between our offices, home, studio, and out, we could all take some moments to spend time and hear from our faves and pop culture on what they're up to and how they keep it together as well. I'm your host, Kimmy Smith, a celeb fashion stylist, co-founder and creative style director of Athleisure Mag, co-executive producer and host of a number of shows in our multimedia podcast network, Athleisure Studio. When you plug into Punglo SK, you'll get to hang out with those that, regardless of their background, are juggling their busy lives and have words of empowerment to keep us motivated throughout our day. We've been fans of Mia Kang for a while, from being in Sports Illustrated to her platform of body positivity. In addition, if you have yet to catch her hosting on Bravo Spy Games, we suggest you catch it on demand right now. On today's episode of Bungalow SK, we had the opportunity to hang out and literally spar with her a few months ago at the Church Street Boxing Gym in Soho. We talked about the modeling industry, the importance of body awareness in terms of sample sizes, plus sizes, and straight sizes, being a Muay Thai fighter, and her beauty must as we train with her at the gym. someone from the fashion industry, being someone who used to model, um, I love your body, not only your body positivity, but your focus on the three types of sizes that exist. Mm -hmm. Can you share with our readers and our listeners about that? So in the fashion world, there is sample size. All fashion models, and since I was 13 years old, there is a strict measurement list where, where you must fit into sample size. It's a size that designers make the clothes in and you have to fit into them and there's no no wiggle room at all. Um, and that's roughly between a size zero and a size four. Um, you know, then came the breakthrough of the plus size industry. Um, and that technically within the fashion industry is size 14 and above. And that in itself is an entire industry. There are certain Certain agencies that specify with that, certain designers that specify in those age, uh, age uh, size ranges. There are certain models. That it's, a, it's an entire industry, and there is no representation for anything in between. Right. And when I got healthy and I moved out of sample size range, and I was in the middle in between these two, I kept getting told by designers, by casting directors, by companies that I was too big or too small. Mm-hmm. And that really started to bother me because I couldn't understand why that middle range, which is what most women identify with, was totally unrepresented in the industry. Um, And it's this idea of being too something. None of us are too anything. And if we're truly being, you know, supporting diversity, why are we only representing the two extremes? What we should be focusing on is health, right? And I am someone who, I have been a size 14 and I have been a size zero and I was not healthy or happy either way finally now that I'm healthy and that I'm happy how can I be to anything it was just completely counterintuitive for me so I kind of decided to to make space for myself in the industry and I, I deemed that th- that middle size in between size as street size absolutely so being in a healthy space and you just recently walked uh, Christian Seriano during yes. fashion week how was that for you and what does it mean to have designers that embrace the fact across the spectrum that walking for Christian Siriano was amazing for me that was something that I said to myself that I wanted to do mm-hmm. um and Christian is so he, he authentically genuinely not only represents diversity but he, he he understands and appreciates the female form and I think you know for a year ago I was told that I was never going to walk New York Fashion Week mm-hmm. that I either needed to be bigger or needed to be smaller and the fact that I I, I, I walked his show and I and I managed to make space for myself in the industry I think is hopefully the beginning of true diversity yeah. mm. so you're a Muay Thai fighter mm-hmm. and I was a little nervous being next to you because I was like oh my gosh you did so well <laughs> you did so well now you know how to throw a punch now you feel cool throw, I do feel very cool right there you so go. are you going to be doing like fights that are, you know, like, you know, winning titles and all these different types of things. Um, I want to fight more. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I can't wait till I get back in the ring. Mm-hmm. Um, it is something that is very, very special to me. It is not something that I, um, you know, do as my career. Right. It's something that brought me back to health, and it's this, it's a really precious part of me, and I never want to ruin that. Right. I never want to turn it into a business or this mm-hmm. thing that I have to do, and I want to keep it as part of my myself and my soul. You know what I mean? So first and foremost, I want to protect that. Mm-hmm. Whatever happens, happens. I, I, I don't know. Like I said, I wake up every day and then make it up. So. Exactly. I like that. <laughs> Let's see Same what happens. Here. So my final question is your beautiful skin. So what are your three favorite beauty products? And I love a mask too. A good mask too. I love K-Beauty. Anytime I'm in Tokyo, uh, J-Beauty. My like. three favorite beauty products. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm a really simple, I don't have an elaborate beauty thing. So I'm going to go Dr. Jart face masks mm-hmm. all the way. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go Flaudely Beauty Elixir. Yeah. I'm all about a face mist. Basically, mm-hmm. hydration is yeah. my thing. Stay mm-hmm. hydrated all the time. Um, uh, what am I going to give you as the third? Okay, so I'm also obsessed with... I don't know if you've seen me uh-huh. be like this the whole time. I need to have lips moisturized at all times. Mm-hmm. And I just found the greatest product of all time, mm-hmm. Dr. Lip Nipple Cream. Nipple cream is like the best. This, this nipple cream, you mm-hmm. put a little bit on your yeah. lips, it, that your shit is glistening, you feel amazing, mm-hmm. it's like bouncy, it stays on that. forever. That nipple cream. It sounds crazy. No, no, nipple cream, but it is, I use it all the time. Yeah. Not the doctor will but there's a couple I put it on my cuticles, I put it a little crispy. under my eye. Uh, yeah, amazing. Mm-hmm. I swear wow. that. Thanks for joining us for today's episode of Bungalow SK. Make sure to follow, rate, and review us on Apple Podcasts. You can also follow and listen on additional podcast platforms, including Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Himalaya, SoundCloud, and Stitcher Premium. Bungalow SK is a member of the Multimedia Podcast Network, Athleisure Studio, part of Athleisure Media and Athleisure Mag. You can see our show notes at athleisurestudio.com backslash bungalow hyphen SK and follow us on Instagram at bungalow.sk to find out who we're talking with as well as what our guests are up to. Bungalow SK is executive produced by myself and Paul Farkas with sound editing by the Athleisure Studio team. Our music is courtesy of Icon eight with forever tea performing renaissance i'm your host kimmy smith and i'll see you next week at bungalow sk 